for our heritage, our tradition, our future. Today, we become... In this episode of Mutual and Federal Premier Interschools Rugby, we look ahead to this Saturday's derby between rivals Afrikaans Wurzienskwal and Maritzburg College, live on Supersport. As far as interprovincial rivalries go, the Uffies versus Maritzburg College encounter has stood the test of time. The Gauteng and KwaZulu Natal schools have met on an annual basis for a winter interschools derby since 1996, with the 2015 encounter being the 21st such occasion. Yeah, this is always the great thing for the schools in Maritzburg to play on the art of the game, because our in Pretoria is en hulle gereken word as een van die skole in Natal oor die jare en dit gaan nie net oor ek nie, dit gaan oor verskye sporte so ons sien altyd uit en dit is altyd een harde wedstrijd Maritzburg College en Uffie's relationship goes back to 1996 it's a rivalry that we look forward to every year we are school of very similar ethos and traditions and we, we enjoy being tested against one of the top schools in the country The rivalry with Uffie's is a massive rivalry in terms of schoolboy rugby, but playing them there isn't usually a lot of you know niggles or fights on the field as college and Uffies almost respect each other and uh, we enjoy playing against each other, we, we like the style of play. The geest tussen die twee skole is altyd so great en maak jy wat gebeur, wen of verloor nie, dis altyd die die bond wat nooit sal weggaan nie. Uffies, the host school for the 2015 encounter, has been one of the best rugby playing schools in the country for many years, with their first team, the Witbella, always featuring prominently on the rugby rankings. This year, Jan Hendrik Hutting and Jako Koch became the 51st and 52nd men to coach the Witbella, following in the footsteps of the legendary Saki van der Walt. Ja, ons het die africhters verander na verlede jaar. Ons die vorige africhters het een vijf jaar tijdperk gehad. Ons het bykie jong nieuwe bloed ingekry. Twee manne wat baie enthousiastisch is en hulle doen baie goed. Dit is een ongelooflike belevenis. Dit het, jy het verseker foute gemaakt. Ek het baie geleer en ek het persoon as Usaki en Jan Hendrik wat ons mede africhters en gespaan besieder is wat wat die ouwe baie goed by leer. Ou moet nooit te groot raak vir die wedstrijd nie en jy moet altyd meer wil leer as student van die wedstrijd bly. The Witbilla have had a decent run in 2015, claiming nine wins out of their 12 matches thus far. Their only blemishes came in the opening Premier Interschools match of the season against Paul Roos and against Saks at the Kersney Easter Festival. Now, we had the first day a very good event against Dr. E.G. Janssen. En, en die volgende dag in Saks gespeeld en vastgeval. Saks in baie intensiteit gespeeld en in die laatste minuut ons was Tot drie meter voor einde was ons nog voor geweest en hulle het een geleentheid gehad om het drie te druk wat toe gebeur het en ons het die wedstrijd verloor. Afies' biggest result of the season came on the 9th of May when they downed the mighty great college in Bloemfontein by 29 points to 18. Dit was een baie goeie dag vir ons, ja. Ons het ons het met die, met die selfvertrouwe gegaan om, om te gaan wen en, en om tegen een school soos Great College te speel is in die eerste plek een groot voorrug en om so'n school te wen bly, bly op die einde van die dag een groot, groot mylpaal in een jaar. Ja, om vir Grey op Grey te wen is een groot gevoel. Um, dit is onbeskryfelijk, is iets wat jy vir die rest van die leven moet gaan onthou. Tot in die 50 is, weet ek sal jy daar oor kan praat en jy sal altyd, dit sal altyd binnen jou wees en altyd deel van jou hart wees as jy terugdink aan Afies. Afi's head boy Vic Meyer, the son of Springbok coach Heineke Meyer, captained Afi's in their season opener against Paul Roos before being sidelined with a knee injury. Ja, en het is altijd moeilijk om af te gaan en Paul Roos en daar te wen. Het is een ongelooflijke atmosfeer geweest, maar ons is eigenlijk niet dankbaar dat ons al kon gespeeld het. We zijn niet ons kant toe gegaan, maar je weet het, je speelt ook maar voor die geest van rugby. 
in die wedstrijd was die knie gewoon 100% geweest, maar na die tijd, toen zwaal ik die op, um, toen ga ik, toe ga ik dokter toe te sit, dokter mij nee, dat was een fout met, uh, in 10% van die eilands wat teruggaan van de ACL af, het hier die probleem gehad, toen moest ik me net weer snij, dus ik ongelukkig uit na vir 6 weke geweest. Maritzburg College, a school with a proud history stretching 152 years, has also had a good year thus far, winning 11 of their 15 matches. However, their first Premier Interschools match of the season against Glenwood High did not go according to plan. Playing Glenwood at Kings Park was quite a big fixture for us. Obviously the atmosphere and everything was different. A lot of the things didn't go our way, a lot of the bounce of the ball went to them, but a lot of credit must go to Glenwood. They did come out firing and on the day I think we were just a bit switched off. Although we lost, a uh, college boy always, always gets up from, from getting knocked down. We fight until the end and a loss I get is a learning curve and we, we have learned from it and we will go forward with, with the lessons learned and, and fight in the next game against Uffies. Like Uffies, Maritzburg College also has some new faces at the helm in the first team with old boys Francois Lubber and Kevin Smith coaching the 2015 side. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's quite a privilege being an old boy. Um, Kevin and myself, we've, we've played in the first 15. Um, before, so we, we actually know all the little traditions um, and what it actually means to wear the white badge as a first team player. Uffies and Maritzburg College have played each other 20 times at first team level. Uffies are the overwhelming favourites with 17 wins. However, Maritzburg turned the tables with a 37 10 win last year. One of the greatest matches between Uffies and Maritzburg College took place at Goldstones in 2002 when Protea cricketers A.D. de Villiers and Heino Quinn were the halfback pairing for Uffies. Yeah, it was a very good team. Um, we lost only one game against Great College, unluckily. Um, but yeah, guys like Pierre Spies, Jacques Lepotier, A.D. de Villiers, Derek Quinn, um, a lot of good names and yeah, very privileged to have played with them. Maritzburg College too had a formidable side in 2002. One of the stars of that year was SA Schools cricket and rugby representative Adrian Penshorn. Yeah, we'd uh, we'd built up I think through the five years we'd had a, a nice team since you know um, starting together in Standard Six. Uh, it was one of our, our more successful years um, in history. Uh, we were ranked quite nice and highly, so going into the Uffies game it was going to be a um, a big showdown. Uffies took a 10-6 lead into the halftime break, courtesy of some A.B. de Villiers magic. Yeah, he said he had a little chip kick over the back line, um, caught it again and, and just slipped it off to, I think, the, the, the wing. College struck back after the break to take a 19-10 lead, courtesy of a try and two more penalties from Peter Grant. In the second half, he weaved his magic, as he always did, with a little show and go down in there, 22, um, to, to score and convert. Um, he, he had another blunder of a game as he did the, the whole year. However, Uffies dug deep to score two late tries to claim a 2019 win with a possible lucky refereeing decision aiding their cause. I don't know if it's just a hooker's story, but uh, Daniel Rosettenstein uh, always claimed that he, he had a good arm under the ball um, and unfortunately the ref gave the try, so <laughs> um, I'll, I'll believe his side for now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, we we were renowned for that to, to sneak in there and the back to away. Um, like I said, very tough game and luckily, like I said, Afrik got, um, got us through to the end. At the end of the day, I think we just went to sleep in the last, uh, the last quarter and they, they nailed us. One of the current superstars of world cricket is David Miller, a man who spent all five of his high school years at Maritzburg College. I played a lot of, obviously I love my sport, uh, I love my rugby which I never played at high school, uh, I was, I was uh, a hockey boy, um, but uh, obviously first team cricket as well and you know, I love my sport, tennis, squash, um, try, to, try to play a bit of touch rugby whenever I could, you know? so that was uh, one, of the, one of the great memories that I, that I do have at school, I think it was the, the perfect school to, to be a part of, uh, you know, loving, loving my sport. This year's match will be played in Pretoria with hundreds of college boys making the 500-odd kilometre trip up north for a massive weekend of school sports. Yeah, we had some great times on the train. Uh, all the, 
the good times and, and uh, some naughty times as well on the trips. Uh, there was uh, a lot went, that went down on those times, but I think uh, they've stopped that now and they're on um, bus trips now, just security reasons. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was some great times and fond memories that I, that I always look back on. When we travel up to Afis uh, next term, we will be taking close to 650 boys. So it covers a large range of sports, obviously rugby, hockey, cross country, squash, and as well as things like debating, um, table tennis, as well as chess. Ja, dit is die groot voordeel van Sienskole Dabi, soos ons het noem. Um, dit is verskye sporte en uit die aard van die saak, omdat die Siense getalle in die school daarom hoog is, kan ons baie spanne in die veld stoot, soos ons speel gewoonlik met tussen 25 en 30 rugby spanne. On Saturday, the 25th of July, all eyes will turn to the first team match between the Witmela and the men in red, black and white. However, an encounter of this nature encompasses so much more than just a rugby game. Although there's only 15 rugby players in the field, there's 1,200 boys backing them at, at all times. On the side of the field, we, we cheer and shout for our rugby team uh, to get them through tough times. And I know the boys, do, the boys on the field do appreciate us on the side cheering and shouting for them. Ja, we zien altijd uit van Maritzburg is altijd een groot game. Zo ik meen, mensen kan niet weten dat ze kanten het gaan niet. Alle brengen alle alles op die dag, ons brengen ons alles op die dag. Wat hij keer heeft, is dat die verschil die bij op van die bal. Ik meen, zo het gaat een ongelooflijke wedstrijd weer. Het is iets dat de schrok niet volstaat bij Mus niet. Zo ons is raar. Het is ongelooflijk om te laten spelen zoals er misschien wat moet gebeuren. Ik denk, voor Afis is hij thuisveld ook iets bijzonders. Hij loopt niet af van om niet te verliezen niet. Ik denk ons record dit jaar wijst dat ons dalk als die gunstelingen beschouwd kan worden. Maar zoals ik voorin gezegd, je kan Maritzburg nooit onderschat niet. Altijd een harde game, maar ik geloof ons zal als we er naast van die veld afdrijven. Ja, um, bij die eerste speel mag niet, nog zoveel beter. Dat wijst je niet wat voor je speel en in voor de wedstrijd wat je voor speel. Om alle anderen te zien die op je paviljoen te zitten, dat is niet. Mag je voorraad niet groter om voor die wedstrijd te speel. For our heritage, our tradition, our future. Rise. Today, we become better. Watch Uffies versus Maritzburg College in Mutual and Federal Premier Interschools Rugby this Saturday, live on Supersport.